epilepsy. It's a condition that affects millions of people worldwide, causing about 125,000 deaths every year. Many of these deaths come from pseudo, which means for sudden unexpected death in epilepsy. Research shows a doubled risk of pseudo during a seizure that happens when someone is asleep, called a sleep-related hypermotor seizure. These seizures are especially dangerous because people can become more prone to injuries. Sleep-related hypermotor epilepsy not only affects the patient, but also the caregiver, as the caregiver can spend restless nights worrying about the patient experiencing a seizure while asleep, which can take a significant toll on their mental and physical health. Current solutions for detecting sleep-related hypermotor seizures are either too expensive, not adjustable, too glitchy, etc., etc. That's why I, Sarah Wang, along with the support of the 3M Young Scientist Challenge and my fantastic mentor, Stephanie Owen, decided to create Handband this summer. Handband uses the rapid hand movements, which are a symptom of sleep-related hypermotor seizures, to detect the seizure. It takes the analog output from my spring vibration sensor board, and once that value goes under a specified threshold, it'll sound the alarm from the iOS app. This is the handband. Inside is my PCB board, my Arduino board, and my lithium battery used to power both. They're secured well using this 3M Futuro glove, which is adjustable for all sizes and comfortable to wear at night. This is the handband app, and currently you can see the status of a seizure. Right now, I'm working on adding a seizure log where you can see the details of all past seizures. Right now, imagine it's nighttime and currently I'm not experiencing a seizure. See, these slow hand movements won't sound the alarm. But these fast and sudden hand movements, the alarm will immediately sound and it'll keep on ringing until I stop jerking my hand because it detects that the seizure has ended. I'm currently working on being able to text or call a remote contact as the seizure is being detected through the iOS app. I'm also planning on adding either temperature or pulse sensor to more accurately detect seizures. I made Handband because I couldn't find a low-cost, non-invasive, adjustable solution for detecting sleep-related hypermotor epilepsy. So why not create one? Thank you for watching!